So, I am back for the first time in a while on this channel with the good old Josh Lee special. Playoff good predictions. Now, I've never done this before, at least not on the channel itself. I've had made my predictions in the past. Just off camera. Anyway, so, this one, basically I'm just going to show you who's going to go, who I think is going to go to round 12. Pretty simple. Don't mind the fan, still pretty heated. Hopefully it doesn't overtake whatever I'm saying. Let's get to it. Now to start off, I'm going to show the all 16 drivers who are in the playoffs. So, well, there's a list here. A lot of you guys would probably know if you're following the playoffs right now. Here's a list, top to bottom. Larson, as I'm making this video, this is right before the Kansas race. Night before Kansas race. So, yeah, Larson won at Darlington, so, well, we already know he's in. Here's what I think is going to be the round of 12. Yeah. That's who I think's in. Here are the guys who are out. Christopher uh, Christopher Bell in the 20. Joey Logano in the 22. Michael McDowell in the 34. And Stenhouse in the 47. Now, I'm going to explain right quick. Now, I'm, now, before I get to certain guys who I think will make the second round, let's, let me explain why I think these four will be out. Starting with Christopher Bell. Christopher Bell is an interesting case because I thought, I th think, because I thought that maybe, you know, he will get to, like, the round of eight. I just, I just don't see him repeating what he did last year. Same with Chastain, but that's... Some for another time. I feel like he will make the second round anyway. Yeah, Bell, something's off about that team, and I don't know what it is. Now, I'm going off stats from, like, last year, and between last year and what's going on this year. But then also the momentum they had going into the playoffs, which I will explain in a minute in regards to 23-11. But anyways, yeah, Christopher Bell, something feels off about him, despite... I don't know. It, something feels off. Can't explain it. Same for Joy Logano. That's a nice segue into Joy Logano. Despite being last year's champion, something, something else is off. I don't know what exactly it is. I feel like he just hasn't been there. Like, oh, contention for the win. I don't know. Maybe he has, and, I, and he, it's been silent. I don't know. Or maybe it's just my memory being shoddy for the past week because I've been ill. Which is why things have been... That with a few other things, which I'll talk about in about a week or so. Bell and Logano, I'm just unsure. I just feel like they, they're they missing something. We got Michael McDowell, 34. Um, I don't know. Front row, I feel like... No matter what McDowell will do, or can do... I feel like no matter what... Front row motorsports just does not have the car for him to go... To even... To even think about going to round of eight. Like, I feel like, in my head, I thought, oh, maybe round of eight is possible, but that team, I don't know. They just, they're not gonna. They're just, they're, just, they're still not good enough to really do that for them. There's only so much, because even with McDowell's talents, there's only so much he can do. Like, you know what I mean? It's something like, it's just the reality of it. Some teams will just always let a driver down, no matter who it is. In fact, that's why Stenhouse is an easy exit out of the first round. Yes, nice segue there, too. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, yeah, Stenhouse, that's why. That's also why I think Stenhouse will be out of the first round as well. These two are pretty easy to determine because, well, sort of. McDowell, I feel like, had a, would, would maybe have a chance at round of 12. Well, despite what happened at Darlington, I feel like McDowell maybe could bounce back. As of now, he qualified, I think, in the top 10 in qualifying at Kansas. So who knows how that will go. He might rebound. We don't know yet. I still feel like it's an easy exit, but we don't know with McDowell. Stenhouse, for sure, when it comes in regards to JTG Doherty Racing, they do not have the car for this. They do not have the car. They just absolutely do not have the car for, for, the, for the team, like uh, for the playoffs. They just ain't it. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, they just, it's just a mid-pack team. 
like front row at least McDowell's shown like you know he's shown speed with the uh, with the uh, front row 34 specifically but in regards to the JTD Doherty car it's a no-brainer the cars just it, they just they never really had like they never have the car or the team to really just go all the way but it is what it is. At least Stenhouse won Daytona 500. It was cool. Nice to see. You know? Because that's the thing, too. It's also... That's because it's also about moments, which... I feel like they've forgotten. Now, that's about it. Let me... Oh, well, okay, one more thing. Let me explain why. I want to explain a few. Because I've seen a lot of playlists. Not playlists. I've seen a lot of, like, quite a few other playoff prediction videos. Not... A whole, well, not a, not a lot of them, but like, I've seen a few of like the more popular NASCAR YouTubers. Essentially, like I'll explain, I'll explain the four here because these I feel like I think these are the most common that that people think would be out in the first round. Kozlowski, I think is, I think is good for round round two. I'm worried about Chastain around one, but that's something else. Anyways. Uh, we all know, we already know Larson is in the next round. Da, da, da. These got everyone else. Uh, as of now, there's a good chance like, they're not locked in by points alone. But anyway, let me explain these four. Why I th like, why I think these four will make because the will make it a second round. So Tyler Reddick specifically. Let me explain this now. I almost had him out in the first round, but I feel like it's like history is not going to repeat repeat itself. But let me put it this way: twenty-three, eleven. Something's off with, with that team, despite Bubba Wallace making the comeback he did, and like getting up there in points. Reddick fell off since his win at Coda. Like he got pretty high. Like Reddick got pretty high up in points with his win at Coda, and then he s gradually went down. This a mix of him and the team. I don't know what it is, but like Bubba and. T like Bubba Wallace and Tyrex pace have been fairly similar. And that's kind of why I get ticked off at a lot of the, like, specifically black and white sports. Making those videos on Bubba saying this and that about him. And, like, go, like, saying how, oh, he's this and that compared to his teammate. If only he knew that they've been, for past, like, basically for, it feels like for a whole summer, they've been around the same, the exact same area. That's my biggest problem. They don't, they, they... I'm getting off track anyway, but that's probably a video in itself. It's going at that guy, but yeah, they're. they're it's hard to say. I feel like because I feel like Bubba Wallace, points alone, if he keeps his pace, he's gonna he's going to go like. I feel like he'd go in the second round. But I mean, man, I, I might be I might be wrong completely on that. Maybe he's out in the first round. I don't know, but I'll die on that hill. I'm. I feel like for sure, Bubba will make it a second round somehow. Reddick, not too sure, but I feel like he's good enough to win. Maybe Kansas, Bristol. I don't like predicting what what tracks playoff drivers will win to get into the next round. I, I don't know, because I, I feel like too much would happen. Like last year, like you know, the first round was won by non-playoff drivers. <laughs> Bubba was one of them. But yeah, that's what it is. Uh, let me see. Let me explain Blaney. Blaney? Ryan Blaney. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I feel like... He hasn't really... I feel, I feel like he hasn't really shown enough to prove that... Mate, like, to prove to guys that he'll make it past the first round. But I feel like he does. I don't know. When he cooks his 100... I know it's not enough proof, but, like... I feel like he's got it. I don't know. Something about it. I'm just I'm unsure about, it, but I just I just feel like he's not an easy exit for a first round. Then there's Kevin Harvick. Kevin Harvick is a uh, huh. Honestly, for the second round, I don't know something about I I feel like he I feel like Harvick will make the second round somehow. I don't know what it is. This might not. I don't think he. I don't think Harvick's won a race this year, has he? I don't, no, no, he hasn't. So, despite even though last year he won two races in a row, then was out in the first round. 
I feel like that won't be a shame this time. I feel like he'll make it past second, uh, uh, to the second round somehow. I don't know why. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. I don't know. Just a feeling. Blame, like, I'm I'm not really too clear on these four. I'm sorry. But it's like, these two are clearly, clearly out. These two, I have a feeling about it. These guys, I'm, I have doubts. And rem but remember, all these guys, except for Larson, as I'm recording this, are locked in. Like, Byron could be out within two weeks. Tricks would be out in two weeks. Like, it, 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 on and on. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Hamlin had trouble at Darlington, so... There you go. The, the 23 Lemon guys beat their boss. I like that black and white sports. Anyway, um... That's about it for this. Uh, and going through a lot. Past week or so. A lot of changes, and it's why I haven't uploaded things I've tried to upload on a regular basis. But more on that later. That is all for me. Uh, playoff race review is coming soon. I will be reviewing every playoff race as well. So I'll review Darlington. I have to go through it again to keep it fresh in my mind. So, yeah, anyway. That's it from here.